Retro Gaming Dad here back, and so I think I finally got this squared away correctly. Uh, I was doing some testing with the sound. I uh, apologize for that, but uh, I decided to do a follow-up stream here and make a video on me reacting to my gameplay. Uh, I just played five rounds in Season 2. Season 2, not Series 2. Season 2 of Competitive Pokemon. And I wanted to give this a shot again. I said I was giving a shot. I said I'd be recording some matches. I'd ended up doing a few. I did five. Uh, and uh, I have the video here. I'm going to full screen it. And I'm going to be reacting to that and seeing some things that I did well and some things that I didn't and talk about some of the things I learned and what I hope to learn moving forward. So let's begin. So you can see here, I'm talking turn that down a bit so I don't have to hear that very much. Uh, so this is my current team that I was using. I put together. Um, I really liked, I love Satitan, the shiny. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorites in the new gen. And I wanted to pair it with Flamigo. Um, you'll see in the first match that I, uh, even though I seems like I have everything together in order, there's actually something I didn't uh, change. And it well, let's just say I really thought I was going to lose for sure, um, but something interesting happened. So um, so I paired Satitan with Flamigo for the stat change of the Belly Drum. Mouse Hold I'm trying out. It's Friend Guard to protect Satitan, but it has the wide lens for Population Bomb because I kind of wanted to try Population Bomb out a bit more. Uh, and, you know, I was really surprised at, uh, at its performance. Uh, so Titan with the Citrus Berry. Gallade has the Trick Room with the Sash. That's an option. I really like King Gambit. I got the Shiny, and I really like King Gambit. I think it's super strong. has a lot of potential. Uh, and I am doing Supreme Overlord, so it's for when I do Trick Room, or I think they have Trick Room teams, I put it in the back. Uh, and then I got Sylveon, because Sylveon, I feel, is just all around really strong. And so let's see. Let's see how I did. So the first team I'm playing is one that's familiar. Anytime you see, you know, <laughs> Murkrow, Goldango, Miascarada, Hydreigon, Hariyama, and Cyril Edge. So my thought process here was with Tailwind most likely coming out. I thought it would be smart to do Trick Room to counter that. And that's what most players will do with Murkrow. I think a really smart player might not try to outplay that. And even, uh, I think I've had someone in the past do a foul play to me first turn on my Gallade to take it out. And that was actually really smart. And I didn't have Focus Ash on it at the time and I got KO'd because of its really high attack stat I had invested into. I got KO'd in one shot. So I was like, whoa, okay. So that really catches me off guard. Uh, I'm going to use Mouse Hold here, it seems. Like, I'm, I'm thinking about using Mouse Hold. Uh, since the core with Satitan is Flamigo, I'm not going to bring either of them. That's, generally speaking, why I have a King Gambit in the back, which, you know, even if I don't have Trick Room up, I can Sucker Punch and whatnot, and I really like Sylveon. So this is what I'm going to start with. And I'm just going to tell you right off the bat that you're going to see my blunder here right off the bat. <laughs> and it's not so much a mistake in the game, but just a mistake I made in preparation. So, so there was no Murkrow. I'm like, oh, wonderful. So, hmm. Should I Trick Room or not? And then I noticed that I have Hypnosis and False Swipe on. <laughs> it's supposed to be Psycho Cut and Sacred Sword with Wide Guard and Trick Room. And so I end up just trying to call for the Make It Rain, so I go with the Wide Guard, which I think is pretty fair. And you'll see what my opponent does. I think, ah, should I switch? Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I could still potentially go for the Trick Room, but... Uh, so I go for the wide guard to start, and then I'm going to try Pop Bomb out. And I'm like, let me try Pop Bomb out on Miascarada. So this would have gone really well if he went Make It Rain. It does the low kick on Mouse Hold, which is 
not very good. Mouse hold is doesn't weigh very much. So, but it's interesting. Low kick is an interesting choice. Maybe that's for King Gambit. And here I'm thinking, wait, is it gonna KO? And it does. I was just very surprised about that. I was like, wow. So that was really cool. That's without technician. That's with friend guard. Uh, he doesn't make it rain. He goes for the shadow ball. Which hurts quite a bit. I would have held on with my focus sash if I had it. But then I noticed. I was like, wait, hold on. Is it slower than Gallade? Probably not. Then Hariyama comes. And I'm just like, okay. What's Hariyama going to do? Could use fake out. Thinking about switching. Not really sure if I should stand. My sash is broken. But Gallade is basically a flop at this point, you know. So I think I was it Hypnosis that I picked to try to go for. Yeah, I think I went for maybe Hypnosis on Hariyama. Is that correct? Or did I do White Guard again for another Make It Rain? Yeah, and then I'm going to Pop Bomb on Hariyama. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, ah! And it's a good thing I didn't go after Goldango because he protects. So that's twice I didn't call the wide guard. But I think the threat of the wide guard, he was just like, nah. And Gallade would have been useless anyways because it would have been faked out no matter what I picked. So then I do the pop bomb here. Got a crit. So I know it's not going to KO, but it's going to do quite a bit of damage. It's going to leave it pretty low. And there's going to be a flame orb, so which is going to burn it. Uh, so I'm thinking, man, this is not going to survive here for very long. So then I'm thinking, okay. Probably Sylveon. Try to force this thing to finally make it rain. Especially because I'm Terrifier. Honestly, this this game was a throw for sure. Like, I really thought I should have lost this game. I'm sure you can tell by now that I didn't. Uh, I could Hyper Voice, but it could Wide Guard. So I think what I do is Quick Attack the Hariyama. And yes, I want a Terra. Because it could make it rain. Again, now the Wide Guard's gone, it could make it rain. But Quick Attack would take out the Hariyama for sure. I don't want it to do any damage. It could do some big damage with its Flame Orb and Guts. And then I just uh, Protect, right? I say Population Bomb super effective on what? So Goldango. It's Terra Water, by the way. This is really interesting. Because I've never seen this before. I'm not really sure why. Why Terra Water? You don't care about steel. What does it protect you from defensively, really? Fire, I guess? But... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not so sure about that one. But... Goldango. So... There goes the Hariyama. Crit like we needed it. We didn't. And then finally there's the Make It Rain. <laughs> uh, it doesn't do very much. But the Goldengo will surprise me quite a bit this next turn. With a move that it has... So it's going to send out Serulege. So I'm going to Hyper Voice here to try to get off some big damage. Even though I know it has Wide Guard. It could Wide Guard. And I'm thinking here, maybe I should have protected. And then just Pop Bombed into it. But I think, well, maybe Pop Bomb doesn't KO it. And I need to... Pop bomb, which why is pop bomb not effective? Oh, now I can pop bomb into Goldango. That's what it is, yeah. 
Okay, this Goldango is surprisingly bulky. Well, it's a steel type, of course, it's going to be bulky, but it seems a little more bulky than I would expect. See, now I'm thinking, okay, a Hyper Voice will KO it. But it Terra Blasts me. That is actually shocking. Doesn't do that much for a super effective move because Sylveon is... Oh, it's I forgot it's Life Orb, so it does KO itself. Uh, but it was definitely very unexpected. And I can't remember what is armor... Oh, it does the armor cannon on Mouse Hold, right? Yeah, it does. God, armor cannon is such a sick animation. And it does KO Mouse Hold, yeah. But now it's got its drops and... I've got King Gambit, so. That's funny, as I could have steamrolled this game a lot more if I'd actually just Trick Room instead of Wide Guarded, but I couldn't. When you got Goldango on the field, it's just too. I mean, Goldango is too threatening, so. I'm gonna Hyper Voice again, and then just go for the Sucker Punch. Or do I... Wait, do I go back and protect and go for the Sucker Punch? That's a safer play. Why am I going to lose my Sylveon for no reason? Yeah. So what is it going to do? It's two versus one. So I like that line of play for sure. Just playing it safe. Don't get don't get cocky and overconfident when you're in a winning position. Don't give your winning position up for no reason. Especially because King Gambit is steel type, so an armor cannon would hurt quite a bit. But yeah, that was a good first game. Overall, I almost threw because of the uh, <laughs> uh, the Gallade. So I'm going to skip past this part where I go out of the game. Oh, and I talk about how my shiny Gallade has a rare mark. And I didn't even use Sparkling Power, Tidal Power 3. So do the odds there. I got it from an Outbreak. 60 kills, 60 KOs. And one in a thousand for the rare mark. So that is a super, super rare, super rare shiny. So I put Psycho Cut and Sacred Sword, which is way, way better with sharpness. It's ridiculously strong. Very offensive, actually. Okay, here we go. So let's go into game two. Let's see which game this is. Okay, this game... Is pretty interesting. I actually uh, learned something quite a bit. I learned a couple of things from this game, actually, which was helpful, and I'll point them out as uh, as the game goes. So when I'm looking at teams now, now, I'm trying to think, okay, what do I know these Pokemon use? Like I know, uh, I know Corviknight can use Tailwind. I know Indeedee can use Trick Room. I know Drift Bloom can use Will O Wisp. So that's why I'm thinking, gosh, they got Trick Room and Tailwind. Do I want to bring my own Trick Room in case they Tailwind? And I'm kind of on the fence about it. That Tauros there with Intimidate, I'm thinking, uh, if it brings out the Tauros to start, it's a Titan, but I mean, I could Belly Drum, but it still could be pretty annoying, so... This is a pretty pretty scary team for me. I'm not 100% sure what to do. But I end up going with the Satitan. And I bring the King Gambit in the back. I feel like it's better here. Because I got I got Psychic. I got Ghost. I got Psychic. And, you know, I, it's it's good against a lot of his... A lot of the team there. So, And if it does do Trick Room, then, you know, I benefit from it. Because King Gambit's slow as an ox, you know. Strong as an ox, but slow... Let's see how it goes. I love the Titan Shiny so much. It's so nice. So nice. So I'm trying to remember if this is the game that I learned something here. Okay, it's got the Psychic uh, Seed, so it gets a special defense boost. So what I don't want is for Will-O-Wisp to hit the Titan, so I'm going to click Follow Me, I'm pretty sure. 
and I'm gonna belling drum. Because I'm expecting a trick room, but I get surprised actually here, right here. Not by a trick room, but by something else. That I did not know trick room could learn Tailwind. So that's new. So that's that's good. That's good information for me. Hyper voice, you know. It does quite a bit to mouse hold, I'm surprised. But thankfully my citrus berry comes in handy here. So this is a pretty interesting game. Okay, so that hurts. It puts me back at a little over half here with the Titan. So I'm thinking about pop. He's got Tailwind now, though. So I'm wondering if I should try for the pop bomb and then ice shard. Oh yes, that's right. He Terra's the Indeedy. Hmm. So my mistake here, I believe, was well. Hold on, let me see. Wait, I'll let the play finish out, then I'll say what I think I could have done better. So the helping hand, that's pretty good. Incoming psychic gonna hurt, but I get the drift bloom. So what I should have done. Probably was I should have followed me, I think. Instead of going for the pop bomb. I should have followed me, and to be honest, that was definitely a mistake because after the tailwind he could have will o wisp again. So But I mean I still I get the trade here with mouse hold, but I don't think it was a very good trade, because that's what happens a lot in this game, is a lot of trading. I would have been better off with the Sith Titan because then I bring in Flamigo and it gets the boost, you know. So, so I'm I'm not 100 percent sure. Depends on what his Pokemon on the back are at this point, uh, whether I'm in a better position or not. But I'm not feeling great about it. I mean, he did lose two Pokemon. I've only lost one, but I'm still not feeling great it just really depends on what he's got in the back you know if flamigo could have came in with the stat boost then i would have been like yeah i'm 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 good i'm chilling here but but since i didn't i'm not sure so all right still got tailwind up so i'm definitely gonna go with flamigo here just to scout out what he has because i'm a little wary about that tauros but and i don't want king gambit to come in on a tauros intimidate so Corviknight comes out now. I like Flamigo's shiny actually, it's not bad. And I like its feathers or like it's... So it doesn't have Intimidate, but I, I was saying I like the punching. They look like boxing gloves, you know. So this Tauros doesn't have Intimidate. So what else does Tauros learn? I, I probably should look that up while this is going on. What other abilities did it have? Pokemon Tauros. Okay, so let's see. Blaze Breed. Anger Point. So it's going to Helping Hand. Oh, I'm going to Helping Hand. We're going to get rid of my mouse hold, unfortunately. See what I was talking about? Trading. Okay, all right, so I make the trade there, but he's gonna Brave Bird me, so. Not a very good exchange for me, because he's still got Tailwind. So Anger Point raises the ability bearer's attack to a maximum of plus, plus or minus six stages or four times when I move, targeting it receives a critical hit. Interesting. Uh, what else though, Kudchu. To reuse an already consumed berry. Oh, maybe that's what it had. Hmm. I'm really surprised no Intimidate. So Corviknight, I'm thinking, okay, I just need to whittle this thing down. I've got better bulk. And here I am saying, oh, it probably doesn't know fighting type moves when I should have known. And I've seen Corviknight use and I've seen the move set. I've literally seen it and I should have known that it does know a fighting type move. And that was my mistake. And there's even a cue right here. There's the Iron Defense. If you don't know what it is already, it's Body Press, right? 
I should have definitely known that. And that's why I'm upset because I probably could have won this game. I could have Terra flying. I could have Terra flying and then just Kowtow cleaved him. Because here he knocks me out. Yeah. So, to be honest, I'm um, a little, you know, I definitely, this, this was definitely my worst game. I definitely could have made some better choices here. Um, knowing the Tailwind is available on the Drifloom really caught me off guard. There was just a lot of options there. He had two Pokemon with Tailwind, one with Trick Room. So that was, that's one of those games where you can get really thrown off, you know. And so because I kept trading and this person clearly had more experience than me, I ended up losing the set. So that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, but, you know, I learned some things, you know, and I, I can guarantee you I will not make that mistake again. So that's that's what's good about playing. Right. That's the good thing about. It. So my opponent made the right moves there, um, given the situation, I'd say definitely wanted to take down the Titan. I'm surprised it didn't try and will a wisp. It just figured, let me just try and KO it anyways. And it did. But that's kind of risky because, well, they probably thought, well, if he does follow me again, so I might as well just get more damage out of it. So that was definitely my mistake. There was a couple of things I could definitely could have done to win. I think if I follow Mead and I knew about the body press, for sure I would have won that game. You know, I think I would have won given the, given the circumstances. Because when Mead would have came out with the extra stat boost, you know, which obviously would have helped. But even then, um, yeah. But the body press was really the biggest mistake. Because if I went Terra Flying, it wouldn't have done that much to me. And my Kowtow Cleave, even though with the Iron Defense boost, probably would have still taken, it probably would have had a two-hit KO. You know, given uh, the boost I got from Supreme Overlord. So, which I'm still on the fence about Supreme Overlord versus Define. I'm trying Supreme Overlord right now to see what I like. I kind of like having him in the back and then coming in and getting that extra damage boost is pretty nice. You know, and it's not something... It's, it's a different type of... But if there was a lot more Intimidates, like I saw the San Diego Regional, then I would probably consider Defiant because that's that's a strategy a lot of people use against someone like King Gambit. So here we have another team. And I speak Excalibur. I see the other Ndidi, which I believe is a bit more like aggressive of Ndidi, and I'm not as familiar with what it does. I'm assuming it still has a Psychic Surge uh, ability. Uh, and then there's a Moongus, which can be pretty annoying, Right? Uh, but the good news is, is I believe the Titan deals with it pretty well with Ice Shard, uh, Flamigo, Bray Bird. Uh, there is Goldango and Sarah Ledge, though, and Armor Rouge, too. So, and the Baxcalibur worries me a little bit. But I'm thinking here that it's probably not Trick Room. It could be, but it's possibly not. So I'm wondering if I should go King Gambit. Or if I should bring Gallade or Sylveon. Sylveon doesn't feel quite as good. So I'm trying to remember. Did I go with the King Gambit? Did I go with the King Gambit or I go with the Gallade? I think I went with King Gambit, didn't I? I don't think I would have gone with Gallade, no. Okay. So. Let's see what happens here. Moongus and Ndidi. Mouse holds the Titan. So what I don't want to happen is obviously... So one thing I should point out is that... Well, I'll point out when I learn it here. I obviously don't want the Titan to get spored, so I have to click follow me here. Yeah, and I'm going to go with the Belly Drum. And it withdraws Among Us. Send out Baxcalibur, which I was kind of worried about. It's a little bit scary. It's actually just just got that shiny and boosted it because I want to use it on a team. And it's it's pretty scary. Dazzling Gleam comes out here just like Hyper Voice. Doesn't do as much damage as the last time with the Hyper Voice. So I'm not super concerned here. Yeah, it's going to Terra, the Baxcalibur. So 
I'm trying to decide what to do here. I can't remember if I click follow me um, or if I do helping hand with the earthquake. Because Glaive Rush would definitely hurt. And I think maybe I follow me and I Terra. Terra with Earthquake, yeah. See, but the problem here, yeah. And you know, I think I probably, I, I wanted Terra for the extra damage. Because I thought maybe I can take out the Baxcalibur because it's ice type. But I probably should have thought that through because now I'm ground type. I'm going to take more damage. So I'm not sure if that was the best move for me to do. So they obviously went for the Satitan here. Because if I didn't follow me, then I probably would have gotten hit twice here. Because here comes the Icicle Crash, which hurt quite a bit. And I would have been way better off. I mean, like... I'm surprised he didn't Glaive Rush me there. So I do get the Baxcalibur and the Ndidi. So again, okay, I had a Focus Band. Oh, Focus Band, not even Sash. Okay. So I do get the KO there. I'm still debating if that was the right move because to be honest, like I was already plus six. Did I really need to Terra there? ground just made me more vulnerable so that's something i really should have thought about i think a bit more i already had the plus six you know. okay so co-star so i did get the plus six here from the attack and i am choice scarf so i should go first the thing i'm thinking about here is uh i know he's got a mugus in the back so i I should probably just Brave Bird. I'll probably KO it anyways, just so I'm because I'm gonna be locked into that, and I can just use that on Amoongus the next turn. But I do make a mistake this turn as well, so and that is I Ice Shard into Ndidi, which I didn't realize Psychic Terrain protects them from priority moves, because in the last game I used it against Drifloom. And it worked. So it doesn't protect all Pokemon. It protects Psychic types. And I didn't even realize that in the moment when I did this. So, so it's going to Dazzling Gleam. Which I'm very fortunate that Flamigo survived that. To be honest. After that Brave Bird. Because I think this would have been kind of rough. If it didn't. I may have still won. Because King Gambit's pretty tough. But... I'm not sure because they could have possibly spored me here. So, yeah, that almost cost me the game. That that definitely almost cost me the game. I could have just protected with my, I think, with Satitan. I think that would have been much smarter. But now I can Brave Bird and I can Sucker Punch. Or am I going to Sucker Punch or am I just going to Cat out Cleave just for to be safe? Because maybe he doesn't, you know? attack I'm thinking does it really matter at this point because even if he attacks Flamigo I'll still KO it so it doesn't really matter Flamigo's going to go first yeah so yeah a couple of mistakes there for sure could have played a little better there but now I know that the Psychic Terrain protects right Yeah, I'm not so sure about this other DD. I don't know enough about it, I feel. I didn't learn very much because he just clicked Dazzling Gleam and Psychic. So not a bad game, but I'm kind of fortunate my strategy was just a little bit better than my opponents because I think those mistakes should have could have easily cost me the game. You know, even just one of them, you know. Uh, the Ground Terra. You know, I could have possibly been KO'd by the Vexcalibur. And if I didn't Terra, for example, like how did he Ice Skull crash into that? Like how did he, he predicted me to go, what most, 
I, I feel like most of them go Terra Water uh, for Satitan. So, man, that would have really bit him really hard. So I think my it was a combination of me making mistakes and my opponent misplaying because there's there's no way they could have uh, walked into that. So this team here is kind of interesting because I see Miascarada. I see Quick Wavel, which kind of uh, concerns me a little bit. I do see Gallade. Or Okorio, I'm not sure about. I don't really know uh, much about Okorio. I know it's Electric Flying. I don't know what move sets it has in this game and whatnot. And I see Magnezone. So I see a couple of Electric types. So I'm like, hmm, you know. And then I see Crocodile, which again, I, I, I mean, I know Crocodile, you know, Dark Ground. You know, it's pretty cool uh, Pokemon and stuff. But I'm just not sure what they're trying to do here with this team. I'm most concerned about Miascarada and Quick Wavel, so uh, I end up going, uh, since those two tend to a uh, single target, uh, I'm going to go with Mouse Hold. And I believe Glade, because Glade's fighting type seems pretty good here. And I'm thinking, well, if they bring Glade and they have Trick Room, then I have the option to Trick Room as well. So. So Mouse Hold. Oh, did I go Sylveon to start? And then I put Glade in the back. Yeah. This is the game where I, I picked the kind of oddball Glade and I put it in the back. Okay, so I didn't start with the Glade. The Sylveon I felt was probably felt was safer just because if it starts with Miascarada and or uh, Quick Wavel, then I have a very super effective hyper voice, you know. And it starts with Oricorio and Crocodile, so I have no idea really what to expect here. So I believe I go with the Population Bomb and the Oricorio. I don't know how bulky it is, but I don't think it's a, has very high stats. Let me just look, oh, take a quick look. Pokemon, Horicorio, Horicorio. Let's take a quick look while we're doing this so we can again learn some things. So, Pom Pom style, Electric Flying. It has the move Dancer. Okay. That's, uh, it only has 476 base stats. Defenses are pretty average 70 each HP 79 so it's pretty 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 weak it's probably gonna die to this population bomb so good to know crocodile protects which is fine you know uh, the hyper voice probably wasn't needed but uh, I was there just in case oh, I got a crit so that definitely guarantees let's see I'm looking at its movesets what does revelation dance do so Revelation Dance, 90 special attack, deals damage with a different type depending on the style. So pretty good actually, 90, and it would be electric there. It has Feather Dance, which you can reduce attackers by uh, uh, harshly. There's Attract, it has Quiver Dance and Safeguard. Uh, it has a I guess okay move sets it can learn like from TMs. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure. I see the benefit here, but I see Mascarada, and I'm thinking, okay. Uh, do I want to pop bomb here? Do I want to follow me? Probably want to hyper voice again because they're both uh, dark. Do I Terra though? No, I don't. Yeah, I could flower trick. Which it does. So it turns into grass time. Because flower trick on Sylveon could have really hurt. Well, that's okay, mouse hold. You took out a Pokemon and you took a hit for me, so you're good. Crocodile rock slides. I'm really worried about the flinch here. That does quite a bit, actually. Uh, but um, Sylveon's bulk is pretty good. So, yeah. I got a crit on the Mascarada. A crit and it didn't break like all the way down. I, I'm very surprised actually. That is very bulky. But um, actually that, uh, let's, let me check something real quick. I think the 
Crocodile, that was a life orb, right? Just checking really quick. Yes, it lost some of its HP. So it did quite a bit. You know, it actually didn't do as much as I thought then. That was life orb? It wasn't even a 2 8 KO. Jeez. There's my rare mark, Gallade, the recluse. So here comes Quake Quavel. And I'm thinking here, you know what? I'm going to go for the Trick Room because if I get it up, then I win. I guarantee. I mean, I know I still have a King Gambit in the back, but if I can get that out, then for sure I win. There's no reason to wide guard. So I'm going to Trick Room. I'm going to assume they're not going to double attack into me. They're probably going to uh, switch over, and Sylveon's probably more threatening because Sylveon can Hyper Voice into both of them. So I'm going to Protect and Trick Room. And the Mask Guard is going to surprise me with an attack that I didn't expect on a Miascarada. But Quavel is going to go pure water type. Yep, going for the KO on the Sylveon. But thankfully I protect. See, the play rough. That's, that's pretty unusual. I, I didn't expect that. I see knockoff a lot. Obviously, flower trick. Yeah, that aqua step would have hurt. That would have cocked me out. And he would have gotten a speed boost and attack boost. So I would have been in a really rough position. And there's the trick room. So now I get to go first. So yeah, I would have gotten punished really hard if I didn't do that. So uh, Psycho Cut is uh, pretty strong here. Uh, Sacred Sword is just as strong. So I'm going to go with that and then Hyper Voice. Or do I do Quick Attack on the Masquerada? Which one's it going to be? I'm expecting them to protect at least one of them. So that's why I'm like Hyper Voice, but nope. Oh, Masquerada is grass type right now. That's why I didn't, but whatever. And there's the Sacred Sword to finish it off. So, so that was good. That was uh, pretty well played by me there, I think. I'm trying to think what I could have maybe done better there. Uh, I definitely didn't expect the player off, but I mean, I had Focus Sash, so I was fine. I think that was a pretty well played game. I think if I would have gotten flinched by the crocodile, that would have been actually like a very, very big. Uh, I'm not sure how the game would have swung in that direction, but that's just part of the game sometimes, right? Wait, was the. Hold on, was the Miascarada already grass type when I used that first hyper voice? Let me see. Yes, because it flower tricked. That's why I didn't get KO'd or get taken down. I was like, wait, why did Miascarada survive that? Because it went. So Protein is pretty good. Protein is pretty good, actually. That's actually surprisingly really good. Because changing to pure grass is really not bad. Okay. I just noticed that right now. It's like, wait a second. Uh, let's see. I hyper voice the first turn. That was pretty good. Protecting into Sylveon. That was pretty good. Trick room. That was good. I think I played it pretty safe that whole time. That was that was a pretty good game. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you can sign off in the comments. Let me know if there's something better I could have done in that game. I think that was definitely one of my better games there. Now, here we are on to this team. I see Murkrow again. And I'm thinking, okay, Murkrow goes Dango. That's that what they're going to lead with. Uh, possibly, uh, I'm looking at that uh, Garganacle and Bexcalibur. And I'm just like, uh, you know. Again, but Miascarada is a pretty safe bet to come in at some point. So if I don't see Mouse Hold and I see Murkrow Goldango, I'm good. I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with Gallade. I'm expecting the Trick Room, and then I'm gonna bring in Mouse Hold uh, in the back 
uh, just to go along with King Gambit and offer him some protection. Uh, if I go for the Trick Room, right? Which I like. I, I really want to start with Sylveon because I feel like Sylveon just offer... I could have done Mousehold Gallade, but Sylveon offers us some pressure because if they start with Goldango, that's, that's a lot of pressure there with the Make It Rain. So I want to be able to offer something of a similar scope, you know? So that's one of the reasons why I like Sylveon to start. And especially if I get the Trick Room off, it's just going to snowball from there, really. Because even if I uh, Hyper Voice in the two Goldango, whether it stays Steel type or whatever, if it Terra's, you know, it's, it still does some damage and I get the boost. So I'm thinking about the end game there. Okay, so here is what I'm hoping. I'm hoping for the Tailwind. That's what I'm expecting. I don't think Gallade is the most obvious Trick Room Pokemon, so I think a lot of people might be like, ah, they're going to do Trick Room, not, you know, if I had something like a more obvious one like Giraffe Rig or something, I think they might consider not doing it and just going for like something else, like a Foul Play or whatever. And I'm thinking here, okay, I have to Terrify her. And I'm thinking, should I Terra Blast the Goldango and try and take it out? And I'm considering it, I think I will. Because it could one-hit it, but I can't remember uh, Goldango's special defense bulk. Uh, so we'll find out if it works for me or not. But either way, the pressure. And sure enough, Goldango goes Terra Steel. So it was a very good move on my part to do the Terra Fire to counter that. So I will take way less damage. Otherwise, that would definitely KO Sylveon and Gallade. At least, I'm expecting it to. I did make some changes to the EVs in Gallade, though, so it has a little bit more bulk. I took off some speed. Uh, because I didn't want it to be too, too fast, right, for Trick Room purposes. Let's get a little bit fast for a Trick Room thing. Okay, and then there's the Tailwind. So I'm like, yes, this is looking good. Make it rain. I was expecting the Sash to break here, and it doesn't. It still does quite a bit on Sylveon. Considering it's special defense bulk and it's fire. But, um... Here we go. And it's a life orb and it still doesn't take it out. That is shocking to me. That is shocking. I didn't expect it. And I also didn't expect Gallade to survive the, the, the amount that it did. So here I'm thinking, okay. White guard... Uh, probably not necessary because now I'm ahead. So I can go Sacred Sword into Murkrow. I believe that's the choice that I make. And then Hyper Voice, right? Just in case there's any swap-ins, I get some big hits, some big damage. Yep. And Goldango will get KO'd either way if it, if it stays. And of course it protects, which is smart. That's what I would do too. I think that's pretty clever. That's so what's good is that this isn't a waste because it hung on with its focus sash, but then the sacred sword will finish it off. So and I still get the boost. I think of Gallade attack first and might have KO'd it. Even without the super effective because stab with uh, sharpness is pretty high. So here comes back Scallop. It's already Terrid. It's Ice type and it's Dragon. Uh, it's probably going to protect it, but just in case it doesn't. I'm just going to repeat the same play again. Sure enough, it protects. Why wouldn't it? I'm going to get another boost here for Sylveon. Thank you. <clears throat> I didn't want it to Glaive Rush into Sylveon. That could KO it, actually. <clears throat> and here comes Meowskarada. And Meowskarada... I'm wondering if I should switch here. To preserve Gallade in case Trick Room runs out.
Because I'm thinking uh, Meowskarado can Sucker Punch one of them. And I'm wondering if, if I should still go in for the same play. So I'm thinking, let me switch to Mouse Hold. I'm not so sure this is the best play here. I or I swap, swap, sorry, swapping King Gambit. It's a safer swapping. And I'm not so sure that was the best move. I think I could have kept in Gallade since Trick Room was still up and went for Backscalibur. I just wasn't sure who would go first. If I dropped Gallade's speed enough, then he gets a crit on the Sucker Punch. That really, that really hurts. That hurts for sure. I don't know if it would have KO'd it uh, without the crit. Okay, here comes the Glaive Rush, which isn't going to do very much, thankfully. And the Tailwind petered out, but I still have a turn of Trick Room. Do I bring in Gallade or Mouse? Do I keep Gallade again? It would be smart of me to bring in Gallade because of still the Trick Room. Yeah, I'm not sure I should have switched out. I probably should have Sacred Sorted into... Uh, sorry, I bring in Mouse Hold, it seems. I should have Sacred Sorted, I think, into the Backscalibur. I think I would have KO'd it. So let's see. What am I thinking here? I've already used my Terra. I could Iron Head into Backscalibur, but it could protect again, because it didn't... It's probably going to protect, because he used Glaive Rush. It would be kind of silly of it not to... I'm thinking, can Meowskarata do enough damage to me here? Let's try and just double into it. They could double protect, to be honest. That sucker bunch hurts. But thankfully I get, I get. I don't know if I a sucker bunch normally would KO me or not, but that was kind of risky for sure. I could have just done the helping hand on the iron head there, and that would have probably been safer. So I think that that would have been a smarter move. Yeah, because I'm probably figuring it's going to ice shard or something. So just follow me. But you know what? Now I think about it, again, probably could have just helping hand. Helping him would have been better both of those times. I, I like helping hand. It's it's kind of you see, yeah, I would have KO'd I would, I would have KO'd both of them. Like that's exactly what would have happened. So that's that's the thing with Yeah, and here it can just ice shard me again. I don't know. Oh, here's something I find out too. I'm thinking, oh let me sucker bunch it before it gets gallade. Well, a Sucker Bunch doesn't work on priority moves, it seems. And I'm about to find that out because it doesn't go off. He gets the Ice Shard off. And I'm just... Again, that's that's three Pokemon. That's two Pokemon I lost unnecessarily. I shouldn't have lost Mouse Hold and I shouldn't have lost that. But, so definitely could have played a lot better this game. I think. But, I mean, there's not much he can do. Let's see anything. He's going to Ice Shard. You know, he's not going to Glaive Rush me because that's a guarantee. But So, yeah, Helping Hand is kind of interesting. Like, uh, some people use Encore or Taunt with Mouse Hold. I think there's a lot of good moves on Mouse Hold, to be honest. It's it's a really good Pokemon. Like, Population Bomb is insane as it is, but it's got Super Fang. It's got Follow Me. It's just, I mean, Friend Guard is so great as support. I mean, you could go Technician. Um, I have a Terra Ghost. I didn't use it in any of these games, obviously, but... Um, it's it's a great Pokemon. It really is. I think there's some good things to use with it. I think in this case I use it more support, but Population Bomb is so good, even with just a wide lens, no technician. I ended up performing that well. So, Okay, so I think that's, uh, that's it, though. There's no more matches. I just talk a little bit about how I'm thinking about doing what I'm doing right now. And whatnot. I think there's definitely some some knowledge I picked up, and I think one of the benefits of uh, playing is that it's it's those things, right? So I stop and I say, okay, let me go look at Oracorio. Let me go look at Tauros's other abilities, and so just simply just playing 
I'm going to learn things because I'm going to learn things by making mistakes. I'm going to learn things by just seeing like, oh, wow, this Pokemon. Oh, wow, Drifloom can learn Tailwind. Wow. Uh, oh, uh, priority moves don't work under Psychic Terrain against Psychic Pokemon, right? So I'm picking up little things like that. And the good news is because it happens through experience, you're very, very likely to remember those things. Now, you know, now I'm obviously never going to forget that body press, right? So I'm going to know that Corviknight's body press. I should have known that, by the way. And so this this is great you know like honestly like even even if i didn't win a, a four and one like i did which i i still think if i would played well if i knew the body press i should have won all five games but you know either way i learned a lot of good things and so i think what's best for me to do is just to keep playing you know i'm not gonna probably not gonna stream all of my matches and stuff but um you know but either way i'll definitely try and upload some of these you know at least from time to time Maybe I can try and do like once a week, upload some matches and then uh, do some commentary on it. I think it'll be good. So I hope you guys enjoy this. You know, please leave some feedback uh, in the comments for me. If you think there are things that I missed, right, that I could pick up on, like Lerna, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, leave a like, consider subscribing if you want to see more. Um, otherwise, I appreciate your feedback very much. And thanks for making this a more positive experience for me. Take care for now. Have a good one. Bye.